What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dylan, welcome back to the channel, hopefully you all are feeling fine and fantastic. Yes, we are going to take a look at the movie, The Gods Must Be Crazy, I do believe that's the name of it, let me just confirm that, The Gods Must Be Crazy, yes, this is tier 5 requested, um, don't know what this is about at all. I do see we have an Afri an African fella on the front artwork. And I just, I don't understand. He's holding some sort of bottle or something. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, that's all I see at the moment. I don't know what it's about. It's a tier 5 requested movie, guys. And I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's go. Let's jump straight into it. Don't know who's in this movie. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado... Let's get it. I hope you do enjoy it. Like I said, if you want to go check it out in full, it's over on Patreon as well as other movies and TV series every single day. And now, let's do this. Come on. The gods must be crazy. It looks like a paradise, but it is in fact the most treacherous desert in the world. But after a few weeks, the water sinks away into the deep Kalahari sand. But for the next nine months, there'll be no water to drink. Oh, no. Humans avoid the deep Kalahari like the plague because man must have water to live. Appreciate, appreciate. We literally can go to a tap, turn it on, and have water. There you go. Crazy. You can even buy a mechanism to have it filtered. Crazy. The crazy and the differences between the wildness and us. Except for the little people of the Kalahari. Oh, Bushmen. The Bushmen. They live quite contentedly in this desert that doesn't look like a desert. And which berries and pods are good to eat? <laughs> oh my gosh, that takes me back to my childhood throwing rocks at beehives. <laughs> For instance, in the early morning you can collect dewdrops from leaves that were carefully laid out the previous evening. Jesus. Or a plume of grass can be a reservoir. You scrape shavings off it with a stick that was split to give it a sharp edge. Point your thumb at your mouth and squeeze. That's crazy. They have no crime, no punishment, no violence, no laws, no police, judges. They, they're probably the happiest people too. They believe that the gods put only good and useful things on the earth for them to use. Just, just think about it. Okay, so this is what m the movie must be all about, yeah. I thought it was a movie. It must be like a documentary type of thing. But you just think about it, right? These people are probably the happiest people on earth. There's probably tribes out there like never touch technology, don't have loans, don't have mortgages to pay for, don't have bills, don't have stresses of life to worry about. Sometimes, sometimes I, f I forget, I forget exactly where we all have come from. Sometimes I forget, you just get so caught up in the way the world is. Uh oh. Even a poisonous snake is not bad. <laughs> Actually, a snake is very good. In Knock fact, it out. Delicious. And the skin makes a fine pouch. One family of Bushmen might meet up with another family, quite unaware that there are other people in the world. In the deep Kalahari, Probably think the world is flat as well. Sometimes they can even see the evidence of the gods' flatulence. So, I don't realize it's a plane. They're very gentle people. They'll never punish a child. <laughs> Why does this remind me of my childhood? So when he shoots a buck, it only feels a sting, uh -huh. and the arrow drops out. The buck runs away. After a while, it goes to sleep. Ray. He explains that his family needs the meat. <laughs> Is the fact that they have no sense of ownership at all. Mm. Where they live, there's really nothing you can own. The hardest things they know are wood and bone. Hmm. 600 miles to the south, there's a vast city. Look at that. The rat race. It's the rat race. Oh. <laughs> they say civilized man and then they show that that image. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> really? So he built cities, roads, vehicles, machinery, and he put out power lines. The more he improved his surroundings to make his life easier, the more complicated he made it. And civilized man who refused to adapt himself to his natural surroundings now finds that he has to adapt, and you have to disadapt yourself from your domestic surroundings and readapt yourself to an entirely different environment. Mm -hmm. Yep. All been there. A very good story here about how we got children. 1030 says you can stop looking busy for 15 minutes and then you have to look busy again. He says my page should only have sweetness and light, like <laughs> Liberace and Jackie Onassis. I'm sorry. No wonder some people go off the rails a bit. Does the noise in my head bother you? Oh, <laughs> Pete, have you still got that story about the teacher shortage and that spawn? But in the Kalahari, it's always Tuesday or Thursday if you like. Okay. No clocks or calendars tell you to do this or that. Look, look. Lately, All right, this is going to be a make of some movie. Aero plays. One day, something fell from the sky. This is the bottle I saw in the artwork he was holding. Ah, okay. <laughs> Is that what the he had hell never is seen this? Anything like this in his life. He wondered why the gods had sent this thing down to the earth. <sighs> it was the strangest and most beautiful thing they had ever seen. Carbo got his finger stuck in the thing, and the children thought he was <laughs> very funny. <laughs> <laughs> So beautifully smooth and ideal for curing snake skin. Hmm. There you go. And Carbo discovered you could make music on it. And every day they discovered a new use for the thing. It was the most useful thing the gods had ever given them. A really so just wait. Device. You thing you'll remember here is he said, the more things have been made easier for you, the more life becomes more complicated. So just remember that this bottle probably gives them some complications, yeah? Drives them mad. I'm pretty sure that's what he said anyway. But the gods have been careless. It was a thing which could not be shared because there was only one of it. Suddenly everybody needed it most of the time. A hmm. thing they had never needed before became a necessity. A feeling of wanting to own, of not wanting to share. Mm. And other new things came. Anger, jealousy, hate, and violence. Say, look, I told you, I look. <gasps> oh my god. He shouted, take back your thing, we don't want it. Look at the trouble it brought. Oh. <laughs> but the gods did not take it back. He shouted, you must be crazy. Oh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Poor girl! He carried the thing away from the shelter and buried it. Done and dusted. Now they're all thinking about it. He said, I have buried the thing. It will not make us unhappy again. That night, a hyena smelled the blood on the thing and dug it up. But a bad temper walked off and chased the hyena away from her territory and it dropped the thing. The next day, Arnie found it. Quite literally, it, it, it's destiny for them to have this bottle. If it's doing this, it's quite literally destiny. Causing nothing but trouble, isn't it? They began to talk about this thing that had come into their lives. They did not have a name for it, but now they've sent us this evil thing. Tomorrow I will take it to the end of the earth and throw it off. It's great. It's honestly great how they, the only evil thing that they know of is a bottle. Uvu said, I'm envious. I think the end of the earth must be very far. He said, I will start walking tomorrow. To the edge of the world? Wait, what? Because ah, they probably do think that the world is flat. They don't know. They think the world is flat. 2,000 miles to the north in the state of Barani, trouble was brewing. This is 35 million to combat erosion in the Munda Valley. Ooh. <laughs> Ha 
What the hell is going on here? That was Sam Bocha's gang. <laughs> there were two jibs, four got away. Sam Bocha wasn't. Find him and kill him yourself. Bring him here. <laughs> Where is Sam Bocha? Take them to the helicopter. You're right. I'll direct you from the helicopter. Yes, sir. Yes, Gazla. Four of the eight assassins <laughs> got away in two trips. The assassins were wearing the brown T-shirts, which have become the trademark of the ter- However, eyewitnesses state that Sam Bocha himself did not take part in the assassination. We'll be addressing the nation in a few moments. We did it! We did it! We got him, President! You didn't, you know. That's him. It was the will of the Almighty that I was spared. He's lying! We got six of them! I saw them go down! You killed three. Why do I have to work with amateurs? Did you get away clean? They'll never find us. Mm, I wouldn't be too sure about that. You got two people that are coming to snitch where where you are. What happened? We ran out of gas about 15 minutes. Okay, let's go. Okay. You gonna pick them up or Where's them boy? <laughs> I thought he'd literally been pushed out of the helicopter then. That was the worst transition I've seen in my life. What's the tank? Too far. They're probably going to run into these guys. The baboon is going to steal the bullet. Yep, look. <laughs> that is a very evil thing you've got there. You better give it back to me. If you don't give it to me, it'll bring much grief to you and your family too. In the end, he must have convinced it, and it dropped the thing. You have done a very wise thing. See, what this is doing already... What this is doing already is putting me in the shoes of... Someone that is living in these tribes. Bloody son of a barongo. Get in there, you morgo hall. Why do they always put the bloody nuts where the bloody stuff can't get at him? <laughs> I'm trying to tune the scanner. That's funny. This elephant's dung shows a complete lack of bow wrong. Yeah, right. I, I promised Mpura I'll work around here for a while so he can have a whole week to patch her up. Get in there, you bloody son of a... <laughs> He's still bloody swearing, is he? She's gonna be a bastard to start. Uh, sorry, Reverend. This is an emergency. What we want to know is will she make it to my bullion back? She's gonna be a bastard to start. Sorry, Reverend. There we are, Reverend. Then she'll be all yours. I hear Mpudi calls her the Antichrist. Wild thing. Yes, I'm your. No, it's not like that. Uh, when I'm in the presence of a lady, I turn into a complete idiot. Yes, you ought to meet the only. But you will do this for me. I say yes. Come on, Prince. Son of a. Go! Go, 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 go! 
Oh my god, what the heck? Don't ever switch her off or let her stall. Now you tell me. Goodbye, River Andrew. Oh my god. Leave him is that what the hell was that? Rushed past where he was sleeping. John Travolta. Bro, there's just something so beautiful about this movie. I just, I can't put my finger on it at the moment, but it just, look at that. Oh my gosh, what, what a freaking sight. How far away they are from anyone, yeah? Let me, let me guess, he crashes into her? Close the goat. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, this buffoon. <laughs> it will come back. There we go. <laughs> I'm waiting for the Benny Hill music to play. This has to be the worst driver I've ever seen in my life. I think G should be driving, mate. G is probably a better driver. He's never driven a car. <laughs> what? <It's laughs> He's a bloody clown, this guy, isn't he? Petro. Everybody lie down on the ground. Yeah, right. Oh. You hear me? Lie down! <laughs> he can't hear you, sir. He's, He's deaf. deaf. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? Guy's still sewing. <laughs> you would think he would take the same rock with him for crying out loud. Yes. For Lady Half a Brain? Because <laughs> he can't talk to women. <laughs> But it's like a cheesy comedy, yeah? It's cheesy. You gotta realize I grew up watching my dad watch Benny Hill, yeah? And I used to sit there and watch it with him. Haha, <laughs> there's no window. <laughs> oh, God. Too fast. Tell her to get out and help ya. How do I get out of here? No, it's all right. I, uh, like... What are you doing now? Well, I'm, I'm closing the gate. But don't want... Right. You want to get me killed? Are you crazy? <laughs> all right, Miss Thompson. It'll come back. <laughs> what do you mean it'll come back? All right. I suppose you think that was funny. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really like how they've done it as a voiceover though. It's it's really disturbing as a voiceover. It, it, see, it sounds so weird because it's quite literally they they're just talking into a microphone after the fact of recording it. Yeah. He saw a very strange looking person and he greeted him, but the man didn't hear him. He said, "This is a funny stick. Did it grow on a tree?" <laughs> He's like, "What is he running for?" <laughs> Realized the man must have seen the evil thing he was carrying, and that's what made him run. 
She stopped. No. How far are we from the mission? About 30 miles. Are you sure you can't start her again? Yes, this morning it took a horse. <laughs> three men. You sure this thing stopped? Yes, didn't you notice? Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Leave that one, I don't need it. Idiot. <laughs> He's gonna come back and the hippos are gonna be freaking taking over that vehicle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, that's what Rhino, Rhinos did. So, there you go. You learn something new every day. Yes, I. Yes. He is so bloody awkward. Rhino. <laughs> Where is she running? What bloody rhinoceros? Well, didn't you see him? He stamped out the fire. <laughs> ah, she only saw him. I didn't want to, but didn't you see? Keep away. If you make a fire, yes. the rhinoceros sees it. He comes and stamps it out. Rhinos do that. It's a most interesting phenomenon. Well, I didn't even realize that myself. So there you go. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> I don't speak the language. Okay, I'll ask them. See? I noticed. But they swan us. They always shake their heads when they mean to say yes. Yes, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making coffee. <laughs> Looks like it. Whoa. They didn't show me their passports and they smashed down the barrier and they've got guns. This is Frank speaking, sir. Frank, but it's, can you see them here? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, I can see one. Stop them right there. Stop. Oh, my God. Lieutenant Mabasha, request permission to cross your border. We cannot allow an armed force to come into Botswana. But I him down and hand him over to you, dead or alive. Can't they help us? They'll take a message to the river. You got a big hole in his pants. Nice throw. Do you think maybe he could have gotten it out of the water earlier, or...? Oh, don't tell me it's like poison ivy or whatever. Miss Thompson? Could you help me, please? <laughs> How can I help you without... You mustn't go near a way to betray they grab you. Oh god, the thing's gonna get hung up in the tree. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. He's gonna come back and it's hanging from the tree. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
Ay, 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 ay. Where the hell did you get that from? That morning, he saw the ugliest person he'd ever come across. <laughs> she, her hair was quite gruesome, long and stringy, and white as if she was very old. You'd have to dig the whole day to find enough food to feed her. <laughs> She was doing strange and magical things, and it was <laughs> he wondered what she was doing. To ah. But he was glad he'd met her, believing that he didn't need to see anymore, and she could have it back. But she was... <laughs> That's a bushman. How did he get here? He had a fire inside him, and the smoke came out through his mouth and nostrils. <laughs> but it made my family unhappy. Please take it back. Where's the truck? <laughs> I'll try and get it out. He saw a most amazing animal approaching. Its legs went round and round. Weird looking <laughs> god. He wore a blue skin on his head and a red one on his body, and hair grew on his face. The funny thing about these gods was that they it's couldn't speak. Continue. They could only make chattering Morning, sounds like monkeys. Hi. But what? What the hell did you do that for? Huh? What's he doing in these parts? I don't know. He was trying to tell me something. You speak Bushman? Yeah. Hmm. Bushman misses a compi kaka ba kipo kaka. He says thank you for the bottle, but you can have it back now. I didn't give it to him. <laughs> well, he'd have to throw it away yourself. He was very disappointed. In fact, he began to doubt whether they really were gods. <laughs> of course. How the hell? Oh my god. Beautiful, aren't they? Giraffes are beautiful. Giraffes are so bloody beautiful. Here comes the great white hunter to the rescue. Miss Thompson, I presume. Yes, thank you. Oh. Quaint, my lady. Goodbye, Miss Thompson. By the way, I am Jack Hyde. So I offered to come and look for you, and that was very sweet of me. Sure was. You're right. I hope Mr. Stain isn't uh, gonna get jealous. Bet you probably will. I love that sound effect. Boing. Boing. I don't want to talk about that. She thinks I'm a lunatic and I don't blame her. She asks me what do I do? And I say I collect manure. <laughs> I don't tell I analyze it for my doctoral thesis. Maybe. The rough suffering will be over. Only when you get to the mission, you'll have to stand there and then you can relax, have a bath and a nice breakfast. Yeah, hmm. so put some hair on your chest. That's all I need. Why the hell would she want hair on her chest? So that's how this thing got up the tree. Ha 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 ha! <clears throat> Don't I wave or take a bow or something? <laughs> take a bow. Notorious commoners, Corona leaders. It is believed that they are heading for Mozambique. Well, how many? Probably have not even 300. Who report to be told. All of you switch your guns over from automatic to single fire. That's automatic. That's single. Hmm. Citizens are warned that Sandbocher is an extremely dangerous person. Gonna look like that? Like what? Like it's a funeral. You want to <laughs> smile, man, and tell her I got seven wives. How many you got? I know how to marry them. Nobody knows how to live with them. Ha 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 ha! Someday I have to tell you the facts of life. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Good way to get her attention. Magnificent way to get her attention. Come in. Good morning, Mr. How the hell do they know his name? Good morning, Mr. Stain. I brought you. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that ended ended well, didn't it? <laughs> you don't want to talk about it, huh? 
Nope. Shame. Still on his bloody mission. Animals, but they looked good to eat, and he was hungry. How the hell? <laughs> Survival, wouldn't it? Suddenly, a young boy made chattering noises at me. I shot one of those animals. It'll go to sleep soon, and then we can eat it. Hmm. The boy ran away, maybe to call his family to join in the feast. Or to tell them that you're hunting there? Maybe you're not allowed to hunt? sound and another of those strange animals oh. with the round legs appeared who the hell there's enough meat for all of us but the man was rude and greedy jesus christ he said you have very bad manners if you want to eat the whole thing i'll have to shoot another one for myself the man shouted at him but he didn't want to have anything to do with him. suddenly there was a thunderclap the animals ran away <laughs> and he ran after them Oh, they got shot in the ass. In the ass or the leg? Do you speak English? You are free to remain silent until we have seen your lawyer. Oh. That sucks. Oh, he's having a shave. Why are you so beautiful? Oh, the cops were here. They say they caught a little bushman for stock theft. Hmm. They say all they can speak is Kiko, 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 so they want me to interpret. Call me now. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Interpreter. Kiko are hereby charged wrongfully and unlawfully slaughtering one goat. See? In Pudi found it very difficult to interpret because in his language there was no word for guilty. Only he asked, did you shoot an animal? He said, yes, I did want to share it with me. Hmm. Well, not guilty. They gave him the death sentence. Oh, Jesus. Three months in jail. Oh. Thing. He never seen a wall in his life. Now he got walls all around him. Hmm. Can you explain? Nobody knows the Bushman. How come you know so much about them? Because he's back when Botswana belonged to the British. I hit a policeman because he insulted my father. I died, you know, dehydration. Only my head stuck out. Jesus. For two weeks, they kept on pushing water and food into my mouth. They're the sweetest little buggers. He's gonna die for sure. <laughs> He's gonna die for sure. <laughs> ah! The humor is different. It's different humor. Can I go to Mahadi tomorrow? I want to get him out. Maybe if we explain to them. You coming too? Says he's sorry. He tried to eat the food tomorrow. You've got to let him out. He's got 11 weeks to go. Wait, is there no way? Well, if somebody wants to employ him as a convict laborer... he got qualifications. He can teach you things about plants and animals. We want to employ him as an ecological expert. He will have to remain in your employ for the full 11 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he doesn't bloody fall. What a good movie this is, huh? Dione talks about a bad thing, an evil thing. Plain to me has to stay with us for the full eleven weeks. <laughs> oh God, now who? Oh, this idiot again. Bushman working for you, is that him? Yeah, his name is Tree. Mind if I borrow him? One of my bloody guests wounded a kudu and my trackers can't find it. It's gonna end bad. You'll see he find him. Oh, Jesus, it's a lion. Run, guys. <laughs> Cats climb trees. Poor kids at this bloody school, huh? You can drop those guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you better. Oh. Now get out. Keep your hands up. Bring up all the kids. And I'm taking all these kids with me. If I see really? one truck, the hell? Or one aeroplane, or one policeman, or one soldier. We'll vote these kids down. 
The army and the police better clear out everybody. Then get the hell out of the way before we get there. Tell them that. Cool, you're real specific with everything you want, huh? And I warn you, you better clear out everybody. <laughs> so how's this thing gonna get us to the monkey rope jungle? We strip it down. How are you gonna do this? Come on, T! Come on! You're up. <laughs> Okay, it's time. Let's go. Move them. Come on, everybody up. Keep them off to yourself. You shut up, see? Where? Let them walk in a square. Keep them going. Don't let them crash. <laughs> Where can I find Andrew Stain? Yeah, you'd better warn him too. He's about five miles. Johnny, will you take them to Machadi? Tell them to sing. Come on, everybody, sing. truck unloading something looks like food cooking pots and stuff they went to and just left the stuff yeah funny you're driving them too hard it's a long way to Motani. Hmm. but you said 20 miles they can't walk 20 miles without eating uh -oh. <laughs> I told you stop told playing you that bloody game! You've got to let the little ones turn back. Nobody turns back. Next one drops out, I shoot him! Jesus you, Christ, you, prick. Her. If I catch you playing again, by God. Did you do what you missed? You made a mistake! Hmm. 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 You, come here. Go to the top and wave this thing until the army people see you. Sam Boha made a mistake hmm. now i want them to leave food every 10 miles understand and four five six seven eight. i like how the camera does this see look children. no they are men down there with guns it's no picnic what was that on the news about Samboha? you reckon that man said i must go to the top and i must weave my kanga hmm. so miss kate said 20 miles is too much is she down there we'll have to immobilize them how bushmen good stalkers best in the world hmm. let him have a look at them explain to him that the men with the guns are bad men and we have to put them to sleep i wonder if he can do that <laughs> he want to know how did all those people get in there no, no, they are. They're not, they're... <laughs> One hour, then we move. Tell him he must give her the note only after he shot all the men. And when he shoots, he must pull back on the thread very quickly so the man can think it was a horse fly or. That is tiny. Mm hmm. He's fast, it'll work. He must dip the needle each time. <laughs> See the little bugger. Yeah, he's clever. They're going to get paralyzed. <laughs> Go to sleep, little baby. <laughs> He's going to sleep too. Look, <laughs> He's like a ninja. She's going to need help. There we go. He's like a bloody ninja. <laughs> 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 
rope to tie them up. There's plenty in the land room. Okay. Uh, no, he can fetch it. Huh? What? <laughs> Says he don't understand the gifts. Arisa Neto wa gacha ko. Ah. me can drive in any gear. Okay, let's go. All right, so he's going to be driving. There's only six. There should be eight. He's going to be driving. Maybe they're asleep as well. I don't know. Not nah, they're hiding because they're playing games. All right. They must run very fast into that crevice behind us and take cover. Okay. Go. <gasps> oh no. Look at her. She's fighting back. Oh. <laughs> oh, buffers. These clowns, honestly. Judging by the music, they're going to do something stupid. Oh, no. That was a good throw. <laughs> this guy's a clown. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Poison or a sterilizer, is it? Or it makes you itchy. What happened? What happened? Have you got water in there? You're bloody a little bit late, eh? But what happened, man? Uh, it's a long story. Keep that guy covered. Guys, hey, it's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're safe now. Yeah, exactly. Ay 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 ay. I'm sorry. It's all right, stay. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking now. Says thank you and goodbye and hopes you have lots of children. Well, what else can I give you? There's nothing here you can use. Bushman don't need things. Yeah, I took it. I will. Says he got to find the evil thing and get rid of it. I don't know. I'm going to miss this little bugger. Me too. Telling you with the big hero. I can't do that. I'll say, look, Miss Thompson, I know you think I'm an idiot, but normally I'm quite normal. <laughs> normally I'm quite normal. If a lady encounters a nubile female, what happens? It's called I nerves. Another... To erudite her. Yeah, whatever <laughs> that means. It, it's really only an interesting psychological phenomenon. When there's no lady present, I can catch the tiniest insect without hurting it. So the practice, if I could just spend Wait for me, you need some moral support. <laughs> Wait for me, you need some moral support. <laughs> I like that. There's only Blake couple of minutes left. That was a nice movie. Different forms of happiness. Have a look. He's a goofy fella, isn't he? But whenever I am in the presence of a lady, my serious turn is... I can tell. I noticed. It's actually... Oh my god, man. That 
day when I brought you your shoes, I actually came to apologize. So I don't blame you if you think. But it's really only an interesting <laughs> psychological. You better you'll see that I'm not always stumbling. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> yes, you are a very interesting psychological phenomenon. And I think you're very sweet. There it is. He accomplished what he did, wanted to accomplish. Now did she accomplish? Oh. He was beginning to think he would never find the end of the earth. And one day, suddenly, there it was. There you go. What a shot. And then that's it. He turns around and just walks straight off. <laughs> nice movie that was huh all right so i don't i don't want to preach too much yeah because i mean quite literally i do this for a, for a living here i work with technology yeah but 2022 right now we've got to a stage where we're so we're so engaged in every single facet of our daily life with when it comes to technology interacting with many people talking to many people responsibilities like i said mortgages bills uh, debts loans having kids having husbands and wives and family members and jealousy because someone has this and the other person doesn't have that there's so many factors that go into everything right and it just tells me this movie the only way to to detach yourself from that is to go back to where it all started and she, she tells us, shows us that happiness, happiness is found anywhere. Some people wake up every single day. Some people wake up every single day and they're unhappy. And others would say, oh yeah, but you have a roof on your head. You have a job and things like but that doesn't necessarily make you happy a lot of people may say oh it makes me happy it makes me happy it makes them happy does it make the person sitting next to you happy does it make the person that is sitting next to them happy certain things make people happy but I do know that society now is getting more and more and more twisted and strained. I don't mean, well, in the head, yeah, well, that's a different story. But I mean twisted and strained as in when it comes to our, our, our physical and mental health all mixed together. And it's just like... And it's just one one fight after another. One sec, guys. There's someone at my door. Sorry, guys. So, sometimes, like, it's always good every 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 now and then to detach yourself from society and and take a break mentally because I know a lot of people would say, "Oh, yeah, but that's that's life. Life. You have to go through that." And it's and the thing is, the way we were raised when we were younger, I know it was hard nosed. I know that, I know that, guys. But also, I'm seeing it the way everything is now. If we had access to what there is available now, like kids do and teenagers, to what we did, maybe mentally, we won't be as tough ball mentally we would be in a lot better places and it, for me it's 
now it's 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 good to have people that go through all the stresses of the day-to-day life and uh, have not necessarily it's good to have people that have mental problems but it's good that you're able to talk to people that go through it or have been through it or you have connections with groups that people go through it and it's very open yeah and it's very public whereas when when i was younger or even my parents when they were younger a lot of it was private and if you were known to go to a private doctor or a doctor for it you'd get scrutinized because of it and what i'm trying to say guys is that you will realize when you go to a remote place or you go to a quiet place where you disconnect from the world for a day or two i'm telling you you will come back refreshed and maybe even changed it may change you you're waking up every single day doing the exact same thing getting more and more and more depressed more sad change change as one of the best cures is change oh but i can't change who i am or i can't change what i'm doing bullcrap you can don't be scared Would you rather keep doing the same thing you're doing and kill yourself mentally? Kill yourself physically? Or would you rather be happy? I don't know. A lot of people say, yeah, but you need money to survive. You need this to survive. I know that. But you need the excess. At the end of the day, guys this movie has showed us has showed us all that what objects that hardly mean anything hardly mean anything can tear people apart can rip people apart inside can make people jealous make people angry make people sad with one another because someone else has got this and the other person doesn't someone's got this new shiny toy and the other person's got an old old toy I mean, it, it's just, it's crazy how objects or things similar to that nature can just rip apart friendships or even you saw with G, he ripped apart his tribe. Just a simple glass Coke bottle. This is a simple movie. Simple movie, simple actors simple story and yet so effective so so effective is a quite literally a life lesson for everyone yeah especially now being 2022 and watching this even more even more even if it's the simplest thing guys as reading a bloody book you always have to disconnect you always have to disconnect at least sometime you always have to disconnect season at least disconnect sometimes because if you're always connected then that's when bad things follow bad things will follow and what happens is one bad thing snowballs into another snowballs into another and it just plays on your mental stress. It plays on your mental stress. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Let me know if you did. I am giving this a, an 8 out of 10. Another classic. Another fantastic film. You guys have requested. You guys, majority of you guys, besides one movie, Street Fighter, all of them have been good, okay? Okay. All of them have been good and, um, yeah, I just, I I hope the rest live up to it. But like I said, tier 5, 99% of the time has been magnificent. So 
there you go i hope you guys did enjoy that let me know in the comment section if you did if you can go check this out in full it's over on patreon and i'll speak to you all in the next video peace guys